Hello, welcome to tutorial video of microwave remote sensing image processing. This is the outline of the video. This is the first part of the video, which is data calibration. Calibrating is an essential part of the microwave image processing as several data might have different incident angle and relative brightness level during molecking preparation. From the process of data calibration, the image will be corrected in order to allow pixel value correctly represent radar backscatter of the reflecting surface. The microwave remote sensing data that we we'll use for this tutorial is Alos Pulsa Level 1.1 Single Loops Complex. Access the software, then click File and select Open Product. Choose the microwave image and click open. Now the image is added to product explorer. Open the image in product explorer and select band then choose intensify. Next, proceed to the calibration process by click on radar. Select radiometry and choose calibrate. Set the setting accordingly and click run. Once it's done, open the image to see the result. Next is the second part of the video, which is multi looking. By going through the process of multi looking, the image will have less noise. This process also produces an approximate square pixel spacing after it being converted from sun range to ground range. Select radar and choose multi looking. Set the setting accordingly. Once it's done, open the image to see the result. Now we move to the third part of the video, which is speckle reduction. The process of speckle reduction was conducted in order to reduce the amount of speckle from the data using speckle filter. There are many types of speckle filter available in the software. Each filter are not necessarily better than other filter. It varies according to the data. In order to find the best filter for the data, one needs to compare the result of speckle filtering between each filter. For this tutorial, we filter with
select radar and choose speckle filtering then select single product speckle filter set the setting accordingly choose the filter and click run make sure to test its speckle filter in order to find the best filter Once it's done, open the image to see the result. This is the fourth part of the video, which is terrain correction and DEM. From this process, the geometric distortion is corrected using DEM and producing a map projected product in order to geocode the image. The digital elevation model DEM will correct the inherent SLR geometry effects such as for shortening, layover and shadow. From this process, the EM of the area also can be created. Select radar, geometry, then terrain correction and choose range Doppler terrain correction. Set the setting accordingly and make sure to take on the EM also in order to produce EEM. Then click run. Once it's done, open the image to see the result. The DEM can be exported into GeoTIFF format that can be opened in other GeoSpatial software. When it has been exported, open it into the ArcGIS software. Change the layer to band 2 for the DEM. From here, we can change the color and produce a map.
and this is my map design beside that it also can be exported into KMZ file which can be opened in Google Earth Lastly, we move to the part 5 which is image classification. Image classification is the process of assigning link cover classes to pixel. For example, classes include water, urban, forest, agriculture, and grassland. For this tutorial, we will perform an unsupervised and supervised image classification using image processing and analysis software. Firstly, we need to change the image into decibel band format. Right click on the image and select linear to slash from db and click OK. Then export it into GeoTIF file. Next, access this image processing software and insert the exported image. Then change to band 3 which is the decibel bell image. Open the classification workflow tool in the toolbox, choose the image and make sure to select band 3 only, then click next. Select a new training data for unsupervised classification and click next. Set the number of classes and click next. Once it's done, click finish and add the cleanup section. And now the image classification is done. Compare the image with Google Earth image to determine the classes. To edit the class, right click on the class and choose edit class name and color. we move to supervised classification first subset the image 
go to file select new and choose vector layer then click ok start to draw the area that we want to subset right click on the vector layer in layer manager and choose save as to save the shape file after that search for precise data tool in the toolbox set the spatial subset to shape file we created earlier and set the spectral subset to band 3 only click ok and save it to any desired file Next, open the classification workflow tool on the toolbox, choose the subset image and click next. Then tick on use training data to perform a supervised classification and click next. After that, set the training data. There will only be two set of training data which is water bodies and land since that the only feature that can be recognized from this image Once the training data is created, you can click on preview to see the possible output of the classification. Then click next to start the classification process. Then click next at the cleanup section. Now the classification process is done. Save the output to any desired file and click finish. And this is the result of supervised image classification. And that is all for this tutorial. Thank you. And if you find this video useful, please hit the like button.